Hello everybody, Togal here and welcome to my first episode of the FTB Infinity Evolved server uh, stream recap. I don't know exactly what my intro is going to be for that yet, I'll figure it out. But the purpose of this uh, video is that, you know, I've been doing a lot of live streams lately. And if you notice that before my regular episodes, I always try to recap what we have done on these streams. But I noticed that takes most of the times 10 to 15 minutes. And a lot of times I leave out, you know, minor details that I think that would still be cool to know or see about. And so I figured I'm going to start doing a stream recap video the next day after a live stream. And then I'm also down in the description, always going to link the, the replay, the video on demand on Twitch. So in case you want to, you know, watch it in more details because, hey, I really want to see how he did this and so on. Um, you're going to have a link down there. Now, don't forget, even though I have a Turbo account with Twitch... These videos of demand are only going to be there for, I think, one month. Yes, it's up from the default to two weeks. So um, this recap is actually the last two live streams. I'm going to show you a little more because it's the first one. And the one thing we did is we worked a lot down here on our station and we also built the railroad track, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. And I did some more work on here this morning uh, because I noticed a couple of flaws and so on. And a lot of times I fix uh, things in the morning um, with my breakfast coffee and so on. But um, I think I, yeah, I explained already how this works. The trains come down here into a holding station where they get refueled and they wait here until they get called. So altogether now we only have six uh, locomotives down here, six trains. Um, because I needed more room. You guys see every one of them is now two locomotives, two carts, and an anchor cart. And thanks to Glitch, um, he actually explained this very well. These anchor carts are very, very good. Even if you ride it, I always recommend you having one. And they do run on Ender Pearls. I still need to figure out how to automatically fill these here so they get filled with Ender Pearls. But um, by default, a player only loads 10 chunks around them, right? But these anchor carts load 16 chunks around them. And this benefit for this is that on high speed tracks, you go so fast that sometimes the 10 chunk render distance is not enough. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this works because the server is set to 12. So I'm guessing it won't be able to load more than 12. But I'm sure that it helps because I did hear some horror stories from other people. They said that... Um, due to chunks not rendering, they ran into themselves and then exploded and so on, which is, you know, really unfortunate. So I just added those. Anyway, we needed them because, don't forget that in the stations out there, the outposts, when I take off from here with a cart and I get there, it's going to send the one that is waiting there back to where I came from, either here or another outpost. So there's always one waiting in all the other outposts, okay? So we got six of them all the way around and like i said i rearranged everything and we hooked up the ender chests right there there's two one right here full with charcoal and one right there and then like i said i still need to figure out how to keep these all supplied with uh, ender pearls we might have to set up some kind of an ender farm but for the time being i'm just going to use the ender pearls from our spawn mob farm here and now let me take you guys on a ride real quick um, because that's probably what you're waiting for. Oh yeah, we also added, uh, I added these two tracks in the morning here, I forgot them. They're limited tracks, and what this means is it slows down the locomotives to the slowest setting, which is this right there. And then when they get out of the station over here, when they get called, they get set to the highest setting. Again, so full speed via this one. And then, like I, I think showed once before, I, I rearranged this a little bit this morning also to make a little more room. It was so crammed up here. Lots to do, of course, still, guys. Still, all the logic and stuff needs to be done. But for now, we just use this fake reco uh, request button over here. And now the first locomotive that is waiting in that line comes up here and waits right there. Let me show you what happens on the bottom. You guys see they all moved up one. And actually, what's going on? This one moved up. This one... Ah, because they're set to slowest. We can actually see it here. It takes a second. You guys see that? And they're slowly moving up to the next waiting position. So they're always ready to go. And now the next one that comes in is going to get added to the line back here. I think I explained that enough times now. So <laughs> let's take this guy on a ride. 
And it doesn't matter. I, I, I wanted to have two because we're going to have one very long track going out to Mike's base. That is, um, I think, 2200. Let's see how far it is from here. Um, on right there. Right there. It's 2000 meters, but we're going first um, probably close to a thousand or fifteen hundred blocks that way and then out this way all right so anyway then you're in here you're you're these are already routed when they're done go on telling me where to go and then we just press the button and now we're actually going and now you can kind of see it's not super fast but it is quite speedy um i think if you use regular rail carts on these high speed tracks they're a little bit faster but it's still it's um, when somebody runs on this concrete at full sprint, they cannot keep up with the train. So it's definitely faster than a glider and so on. Um, and you can be AFK, which is the nicest. So right over here, we added a station. You see this right here, all the tracks and stuff. This is going to be the station for Dragon's Bees. Wow, that was a perfect example. Look at that. There was something on the track. Oh my god. Okay, well, that was awesome to show you. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what that was. I wish I would have looked forward. Because the only thing that I can see that was able to be up here is um, an Enderman. Did I get something mob drop wise? No. Well, that sucks. Um, but anyway... Uh <laughs> We would have then turned around. The problem is, guys, on regular tracks, um, the locomotives do not explode when they collide with an entity. They will kill the entity and just keep going. But when you combine it with high-speed tracks, then they explode when they hit an entity. So I might need to rethink this. Um, the only other thing I could think of that might come up here is a spider, but I doubt that a spider will just crawl up here. Um, is there... These are all showing as spawnable blocks, but on the immersive engineering the or the, the chiseled concrete, mobs cannot spawn on this. We have never had a mob on any of these tracks here. So, yeah, that sucks that this happened, but I'm glad I got it on camera. And, yeah, for right now, we just come to over here, and then it turned around, and it would have gone back. And I took this trip at least ten times since last night and never had a problem. So, that sucks that this happened. <laughs> But let me fly out here a little bit to the west now because we started another project out here. And let me explain it to you. On the live stream, we talked about it would be cool that if we make more big, complicated factories kind of things, okay? And, you know, not making them the most efficient way possible and so on. Make them playful. Um, you know, spend lots of time on logic and redstone and computer controls and all these things to get things like that going and and i really want to focus on that and one of the things we said we want to get started with is a emerald farm a villager breeder slash emerald farm and this we built in a stream and a half so far it is far 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 from done but i wanted to show you guys what we've done so far so how this works is we have a village here let me turn on the village highlighter so you guys can see it there's a village right there this changes color every time. I don't know what's up with that. Sometimes it's green, red, now it's purple. I don't know what's going on. And down here we have six villagers. And up here is one villager. He is... Right? Let me get down there. Come on, hover mode. He's sitting right there. And if I want to disable this village for now, I just pick him up with this safari net and take him out. And then they stop doing their thing. But other than that... Um, we have a little thing here, a wall that we could push up. We decided we probably want to go to chronotypers or whatever to get the babies out. Um, but for now, when they breed, and I can demonstrate this here real quick because uh, Link was so nice. He made me a few potions of love. And we can just go in here and throw these at them. Um, how do I throw this at you right there? No? Um, hello? Hello? All right, so now I made them. Oh, no, Elvis, get out. Elvis, get out. Get back in there. No, 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 no. Get back in there, please. Uh, how do I get them in without hitting them? Well, I just have to. And you. Get back in there. No, I want to close it. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, so we got babies. Then we open this over here. And we set up some fans over here for now. 
And that pushes all them over here. Hopefully the little one is gonna jump down here in a second. So he gets pushed in. There we go, he should come out now. Eventually, they're really, really good runners. Once they get onto the conveyor belt, it's over. They they cannot fight this conveyor belt. They work really well with these villagers. There he is. So he's out now. And now I can turn off <laughs> the fans. And they're waiting right here. Okay, and then I can let them grow up, whatever. I also this morning made a trading station. You guys see, I've been busy trading tons of emeralds. I did a lot of trades today. Um, because I needed to, I needed an emerald block for this, and then I needed an emerald for every one of the anchor cards. These guys right here, they need an emerald also to make them. And now, you know, for right now, all I'm doing is I'm sending off a cart. And because there's two, I'm gonna send two cards, and that's actually all of them filled then. So that is cool. I think I have nine, three, six, seven, eight, nine, yes. And later on, we, you know, we want to automate this to, to find out if one is a villager, a baby or not. But anyway, there's an embarking track that picks up whatever's sitting there. And now they're going to go back here into the back of the line and waiting to grow up. So, for right now, I just set up a track over here this morning. If there's any uh, traits that I want to keep, you know, they're super awesome traits for whatever reason. I can just flip this and they're going to go into a holding track here where I can just let them sit. And otherwise, they go up here over over a disposal track and fall into the smeltery that has a little bit of iron and that's how i've been making my emeralds besides trading of course so now let me demonstrate this let's see what you got oh, i'm never gonna use you so you are going to heaven guys this is a game right these are pixels this is all for fun and then of course he is going to Leave very soon. I'm never gonna use this guy either. So you go ahead and go in the smeltery also. How about you? Gold nuggets for a book. Never gonna use you either. What are you anyway? Wonder what this is. Don't know that coat. Anyway, you go away also. And then, you know, I'll wait here. This is gonna look like a railcraft guy. Um, not sure what he is. Get a cleric and a librarian and then we got elvis over here let's see if we get any music discs and this now makes me liquid emerald right there and it's not enough for one yet but anyway you get 0.25 per villager i believe so four villagers and i could make one emerald and then you know i just cast it right here for now somehow we're gonna automate this later on also but yeah, that is our little villager factory. Lots and lots to do, guys. We also want to have, of course, holding pens for villagers that we just want to keep and trade over and over with. And this is where this guy comes in really handy because we're going to have to make those outside of this bubble right here, right? Because outside of this bubble, they don't count to the village. And that way, you know, the cap is doesn't go as high. And you guys can see I built it one too high. These doors up here don't count to the village. But it's all good. Um... I wanted it to just look funny and one more thing we are also have a full basement here just to run redstone um and i these exact things here i'm not going to explain because that would take too much time but they're just part of the logic and i wanted a basement because i'm pretty sure we're gonna have tons of um modems and computer craft things and so on what do you have nah i'm never gonna need these tracks either you can go so there's one emerald a force track that is something from um portal gun i believe so i'm gonna keep this guy until i feel like i have enough emeralds to just buy this and test to play around what it is for of course i can't forget to put this back again anyways guys uh let me know how you guys this uh how you guys like the stream uh, stream recap um I'm, I'm definitely going to keep up with it, I, I, I hope, in the mornings after, you know, the live streams, because I think it's nice for you guys to see what I've been doing, and I know some people don't have the time to watch the videos on demand, and this way, you know, I don't need to waste time in regular episodes, I don't think it's a waste of time, but you guys know what I mean, um, spend any time in the regular episodes, and we can, you know, go right back into whatever we we're going to do that episode, and otherwise I can spend some time explaining things with it on the stream. Hope you guys liked it, and let me know uh, what you guys think about the rail track so far. 
Uh, it's kind of scary now that I did not see what made me blow up. I'm going to watch the um, video here in a second to see if I can see what it was um, and hopefully find a fix. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.